I hope that you can hear me very well. Zuzka, can you confirm me? Yes, can I confirm? can. Yes, Thank I can you. hear you well. Okay, we are representatives of the of VSB Technical University of Ostrava. My name is Jakub Nemec, and this is my colleague Zuzana Štrochová. We are the members of University International Office. And in the following hour, we will tell you something about our university, VSB Technical University of Ostrava from the Czech Republic. And we will focus mainly on three faculties from our university, Faculty of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, and Faculty of Mining and Geology. But at the very beginning, I will tell you something about the country, the Czech Republic, the city, the city of Ostrava. And Zuzka will tell you something about the, the university in general. Uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic is quite small country it's situated in the center of Europe. And so it is landlocked country. Uh, the country has approximately 11 million inhabitants and the uh, capital of the Czech Republic is the city of Prague. It's a well-known city, probably one of the most beautiful cities all around the world. <clears throat> However, the Czech Republic is not just Prague. This is the country of beautiful castles and historical towns large green forests and mountains all around uh, the borders. Mm, in the Czech Republic, you can find Western standard of living. However, the prices are much more affordable compared to other Western countries. What is important also for you that unemployment rate here in the Czech Republic is now during crisis 4%, just 4%. Before pandemic, uh, it was 2%. So let's say it's not difficult also for foreigners to uh, find a job here. If you graduate here, once you graduate here, you have another nine months to find a job here. Okay, let's move to the city of Ostrava. The Ostrava is the third largest city in the country. Let's say it's big, sufficiently big to find all services you need, you want. But at the same time, it's small enough to feel very safe here. In the city, you can find two main public universities and one of them is our university. The city lies in Moravian Silesian region that shares borders with Poland and Slovakia. Ostrava has very rich industrial past. However, these days Ostrava is uh, changing rapidly and many of these uh, mining sites were uh, transformed into museums. One of them is one of the most visited sites, site scenes in the whole country. What is also important, but uh, this great connectivity from Ostrava to other cities. For example, you can take direct train to Prague and that takes less than three hours. It is very similar to other uh, capitals, European capitals. You can take direct trains to Vienna, Bratislava or Warsaw. Ostrava is even more affordable than a uh, city such as Prague, for example. You can live here for approximately 400 euros per month, and it is sufficient for 
food, accommodation, transportation, and also for some fun. Uh, once you become our student, you can also use special discount for uh, meals at our university canteen. You can get lunch for less than four euros. You can also use some discounts for traveling uh, around country or also to public transport in the city of Ostrava. Okay, I, I uh, now I ask Zuska to continue. Okay, thank you, Jakub. Hello, uh, good morning and good afternoon. And my name is Zuzana. And I'll give you just uh, some basic information about um, our university, VSB Technical University of Ostrava. Uh, currently, there are <clears throat> around approximately 11,000 students in our university. And out of this, over 2,000 are international students. Uh, the university ca campus is one of the largest in the Czech Republic. It is over uh, 40 acres, so it's uh, really large, which makes it very comfortable because most of the faculties are within walking distance from dormitories, which are also part of the campus. Um, our university, there are seven faculties in our university, and there are three major fields that the study programs are focused on. It's engineering, and there it falls electrical engineering, safety engineering, civil, mining and geology, materials and mechanical engineering. Uh, second field is economics, um, macro and micro economics, finance and management, and technologies. Uh, and there we have IT technologies, nanotechnology, and environmental science. So as I mentioned before, there are seven faculties. There is Faculty of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Safety Engineering, Faculty of Economics, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Faculty of Material Science and Technology, Faculty of Mining and Geology, and a Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, to students who start their first year at our university, uh, we offer full degree scholarship. Uh, it's offered to all levels of uh, education. That means for bachelor students, for master students, and also for PhD, for doctoral studies. Uh, so uh, students who actually start their first, first year full-time study, they can apply for a full degree scholarship. Uh, on our website, there is information what needs to be done, what needs to be submitted and the scholarship is up to uh, 36,000 Czech crowns, which is around uh, nearly 1,400 uh, 1, euros. Uh, the campus is very international. We have uh, approximately each semester we get around four to 600,000 exchange students each year. Uh, plus to that, we also have uh, degree students, so the campus is truly international. And there are many events that are planned for our international students by our uh, exchange student network, ESN, who uh, make sure that uh, these are Czech students, who make sure that uh, the foreign students are uh, can feel as, as at home so they can actually they organize trips uh, abroad for them they organize many parties and um, many meetings for international students so it's enriching for both sides really uh, life on campus out of studies uh, our campus as i mentioned is one of the largest and but it's also barrier free life for any students with some sort of handicaps. Uh, there is a large uh, outdoor sports field. Uh, we offer this 
large sports hall for indoor sports like uh, uh, badminton. Yes, but we also have doors, uh, outdoor fields for football, which is very popular in the Czech Republic. Yeah. So students can play football matches, uh, beach volleyball, and um, there is also in the dormitories area, there is pizzeria, snack bars, and students clubs. Uh, the good thing about our campus is that it's uh, located on the outskirts of Ostrava and it neighbors with uh, woods, with forest. So it's also a very good free time activity for our students. So they can go there for walks, for jokes, uh, they can have parties there. And uh, there's also a university planetarium, which is part of our faculty of mining and geology. And this planetarium is very popular also by the general public, but also by our students uh, who can go there for uh, programs that planetarium offers. And it's situated in the woods. Uh, we also have university kindergarten. This is for, for either doctoral or PhD students who already have families or for our staff, academic, uh, also foreign academics, but also our Czech academics. And uh, on campus, we all, there are many cultural events. I mean, in normal times, unfortunately, during pandemics, many of the, or most of the, I would say all of the cultural events had to be canceled, unfortunately. But in normal times, there are many, many cultural events going on on the campus. So apart from the faculties uh, on the campus, there are research centers. I won't mention all of them, but uh, there's quite a few. Uh, we are very proud. To, we are very proud to have uh, IT for Innovations, a national supercomputing center, which uh, currently there are four supercomputers that uh, work full time and are used. Uh, these computers are used for many uh, computational projects, not only for our university but mostly for. Um, private companies and other universities in the Czech Republic. It's very unique in the Czech Republic, this research center. Uh, we have International Contact Point, which is uh, an office where my colleagues offer help to foreign students, exchange students, both exchange, but also degree students. If they have any problems regarding visa, uh, prolonging visa uh, during their stay here, if they have any mental or health issues, uh, if they want to get help, assistance with uh, finding a job, um, the colleagues are, colleagues are there to help. So you're free to, you're welcome to come and ask for help. Thank you very much for attention and you can follow us uh, on either the social media uh, best is really go to our website and you can send us or you can send us an inquiry to either international at vsb.cz or study at vsb.cz and we will get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for your attention uh thank you Zuzka. and before we will welcome here Mr. Rosmanin from the Faculty of Civil Engineering. Uh, we will play you a video about uh, our university.
Hello to everybody from the Faculty of Civil Engineering. Uh, Jakub, can you check if you can hear me? I'm not sure if if everybody can hear me. Jakub, can you check that, please? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but okay. I don't know you can hear me. I can, I can hear you. OK, very good, very good. OK. So welcome to everybody on our webinar. Um, and please let me introduce uh, Faculty of Civil Engineering. My name is Miroslav Rosmanie. I'm a mobility departmental coordinator and also I'm a member of the international office of our faculty and we are closely cooperating with the uh, uh, rectorate and with the uh, office uh, for external affairs. Um, you have already heard that the uh, university has a strong history and it's uh, very large and maybe a few numbers at the beginning uh, so we have about seven faculties and uh, uh, about uh, 12,000 uh, students uh, which are studying in 249 study programs uh, at the university. And a Faculty of Civil Engineering, it's one of the uh, faculties which was established like 20, 25 years ago. And, uh, but the university itself has a very large and long history. Um, the university itself, uh, uh, it's very progressive in the faculty of civil engineering, as I have mentioned at the beginning, it's quite young, like 24, 25 years old, and it was established in 1997. Uh, currently, we uh, have 10 departments and about 120 members of academic staff. And also, we have a plenty of students, like 1,200 students also including a PhD students because we are offering uh, bachelor, master and also PhD uh, studies. And we have already uh, more than four and a half thousand uh, graduates from uh, 2007. So uh, a lot of people uh, have enjoyed the studies at our faculty. Um, by mentioning the departments, uh, we have the Department of Structures and also the Department of Urban Engineering, Building Materials and Diagnostic of Structures or Geotechnics and Underground Engineering, Building Constructions or Architecture also. And uh, of course, following by the Transport Constructions in also the Department of Structural Mechanics or Mathematics, which are supporting uh, departments of uh, our university and also uh, of the faculty. And uh, as the last one, but not the least, building environment and building services department. Why I'm mentioning those departments that carefully? Because these are also the main topics you can study at our faculty, uh, where you can specialize on. And uh, I will be speaking about those uh, later. Uh, what is the system of our study? It could be slightly different faculty by faculty, so therefore I need to mention that on bachelor study, we have a four years bachelor and you can have a specialization in civil engineering or architecture and construction. And then we can, or you can choose the follow-up master, which uh, is about one and a half year or some of those are two years uh, long. Uh, in civil engineering, we have an eight study programs in uh, on architecture and construction, there is just one or architecture. And then you can also study as the PhD students, so doctoral studies, which are for four years, up to seven years, and they are uh, specialized on civil engineering overall or geotechnics and underground engineering. If we will uh, go further to the bachelor study programs or specializations, which you can uh, select, as I have mentioned already, the architecture and construction and the civil engineering. And now you can see also the, uh, the specializations in civil engineering, which you can follow uh, from the third year of study. So the first two years are common for all students in civil engineering. And 
on the third year of study for last two years of bachelor, you can do a more specific uh, studies in your field you like to. So in transport construction or geotechnics or building structures, municipal engineering or building an industry construction or building environment or building materials and diagnostic of structures. Um, all those are very popular and in all those you can be specialized on uh, later after your studies uh, when you will be a South after expert. Uh, follow up master studies are following the bachelors. So uh, we have a slightly different names, but basically they are based on the same uh, type of uh, structure. So again, architecture and construction and then civil engineering in the different fields. Um, the last uh, study in the beam engineering is for two years, but the rest of the civil engineering uh, study programs are for one and a half years, so for three semesters, and then architecture and construction also for two years. Uh, we have a different titles you can uh, get after your studies. So, of course, after the bachelor, it's a BC uh, title and uh, master follow-up study programs are engineers or engineer architects. If we will go to the PhD uh, studies, doctoral study programs, they are normally for four years, uh, but uh, they can uh, be up to seven years if uh, the students need that for civil engineering and also geotechnics and underground engineering. And it's good to uh, mention also our research activities because uh, the studies are modern and they are close also to the new foundings and the research activities of our faculty. And if I will mention the most popular or where we are the most active in design and construction of modern or efficient buildings and infrastructure, uh, we are supported by modern software and also by advanced laboratories. And the important thing is that we are closely cooperate with many research institutions and industry in the Czech Republic and also abroad. So we have a couple of international projects and also uh, we have a close contact with the uh, companies uh, which uh, are related to the civil engineering and development of structures. Uh, the most uh, important research topics, uh, maybe you know or you can hear about them, are the sustainable civil engineering, which is the most important one. Also, the reliability and safety of structures or optimization and numerical modeling, and also advanced building materials and structures or building resistance, uh, resistant to fire, explosion, seismicity, or floats. Uh, we are not an uh, area with the uh, seismicity activity, but uh, we are area which was effective by mining. So also the research on that uh, we do. And of course, uh, the whole industry in the Czech Republic uh, needs to be rehabilitated. So the rehabilitation of buildings and reclamation of uh, brownfields, it's also a very popular. Of course, following by the advanced geotechnical or transport structures, municipal development and urban planning, and also, of course, modern architecture, which is always close by the energy efficient buildings, which are very, very popular nowadays. Uh, what are the other opportunities for students? Not only research, because uh, they are uh, going to study, so they can uh, also take an advantage uh, from our uh, international cooperation with other universities. Uh, we have selected uh, 62 universities in uh, more than 20 countries uh, in the Europe uh, where you can go also for study during your uh, studies at our faculty or at our university, or you can go there for traineeship so you can work and you can uh, do a first contact with the companies and you can maybe later on uh, find the uh, job opportunity. Uh, what is important, of course, is the uh, tuition fee. The tuition fee is uh, not large uh, for a bachelor and the doctoral study programs are 3,500 euros per academic year. And for master's students, it's like 4,000 
euros per academic year because the master is for one and a half years so it's like uh, six thousand euros per in total for most of the master study programs the admission fee it's neglectable it's just a uh, very special and very small admission fee and the living cost uh, in czech republic uh, it's not large and even not in ostrova uh, so it's approximately 300 or maybe 400 euros per month so it's not uh, a difficult to study and to live here in czech republic uh, what is important also um, the students can apply for a scholarship um, they can apply for the uh, first scholarship uh, in the academic year, which is based on the good study results and also a uh, minimum weighted uh, study average. Uh, you have also some equation how to calculate it, but I think you can understand what does it mean, the weighted study average. And uh, of course, you have to pass some uh, exams which are necessary a minimum of uh, 20 ECTS credits, which are achieved per semester or 40 per year. Um, the deadline for the application for the next academic year is November 30. So uh, during your uh, study in the first semester, even if you are on bachelor or in the master degree. So that's the application and it's very, very simple. And what are the deadlines for application? That's also very important information. The February is already passed and the April 30 is very, very close. So uh, the second cycle, it's nearby. So do not hesitate to apply for the study. And there, uh, there will be also the third cycle in July 7. But if you want to study at our faculty, you have to check uh, the deadlines and you have to satisfy all the conditions. Uh, so the condition and acceptance, you have also the link there, which you can follow. And of course, the presentation will be available. So also those links uh, you can easily check or catch uh, at our uh, university website and also at the faculty website, www.fast.vsb.cz. And you look uh, are looking for uh, an English version of the of the website because probably nobody can speak Czech of you. Thank you for your attention and we are looking forward to meeting you in Ostrava. And uh, as was the, my motto, study in Europe, study in Czech Republic, choose the Czech Republic. And if Czech Republic study in Ostrava because it's a wonderful city in, uh, if you will choose the study in civil engineering, so I can promise that you will become be sought after uh, expert in civil engineering and you can apply your knowledge uh, everywhere in the world and especially in the Europe. Thank you for your attention and hopefully we will see. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Osmanid, for your presentation about the Faculty of Civil Engineering. And now I will ask my colleagues from the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science to present their presentation about the faculty. Uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes, everything is fine. Yeah, good. Um, so uh, once again, uh, good afternoon and uh, let me welcome you to this to this short introduction uh, about the faculty of electrical engineering and computer science uh, my name is pavel kremer and i'm uh, responsible for the promotion of um, uh, international cooperation at the faculty today i will just very briefly introduce the faculty as a whole and then uh, leave the floor to my colleague from one of its departments, the Department of Cybernetics and uh, Biomedical Engineering, who will talk in detail about um, their offer uh, for, uh, well, students in general and foreign students in particular. So uh, uh, first, let me join my colleagues that spoke uh, uh, before me in inviting and, uh, well, uh, inviting you uh, to the city of Ostrava. Uh, it's uh, really a nice, uh, nice place to uh, be uh, in. It's the uh, well third largest city and capital of a region, uh, 
um, but it's also uh, it's also a place that is not far from um, nature, nice destinations. It's around three hours uh, from Prague and Vienna, so very well connected to the rest of the world. You can get uh, you can get um, uh, right at the uh, student residences under four hours from these uh, from these uh, uh, cities. Well, and Ostrava is also a city of um, uh, industry, culture, sport, and education. Uh, if you are into sports uh, and you stay in Ostrava, you have a very good opportunity to uh, to witness a world championship in uh, ice hockey uh, or in uh, in athletics uh, or or some other uh, related disciplines. Uh, and I suggest that if you are interested in uh, in the city, its history, its um, its current state, and so on, you can also Google it. You can ask others uh, on the internet. You can uh, you can uh, check YouTube and, and see what the others say. Not only uh, not only ourselves. Uh, our university, you heard a lot about it. So I would only uh, I would only uh, repeat and then show you maybe another picture. Uh, of the campus and repeat that it is um, a technical university composed of seven faculties, which is really nice campus with a lot of sport facilities, a lot of um, free time facilities, a lot of opportunities for leisure, but also direct connection to the nature around the city. Um, if you uh, uh, decide to study in Ostrava and stay at the student uh, dormitories, you will be right in the middle of this um, of this uh, campus, and it is also a place where the majority of um, uh, education activities, classes, laboratories, um, and also research centers take place. Um, yeah, that's that's maybe about it. Um, about our faculty, so Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science is. Uh, one of the seven faculties of the university. Actually, it celebrates an anniversary this year because it was founded 30 years ago, uh, as uh, well at that time as the as the youngest faculty. Um, and it started as a place where electrical engineering and uh, IT technology uh, can be studied and research uh, in that uh, can be implemented. At present, uh, the faculty has uh, eight departments uh, that are divided in roughly three groups. Uh, one, is divide, one is dedicated to the education of um, um, electrical engineers and, and people specialized in electrical power engineering. The second group is about, um, about IT, telecommunications, and uh, um, also industry uh, these days. And the third group, that is the Department of Applied Mathematics and Physics, um, it has an important support role for the reminder of the departments, but also for the reminder of the university. But you can also study there mathematics and physics. Uh, there is in total 21 professors. There are in total 21 professors at the, uh, at the faculty. It has roughly 2,400 students, and out of that, 408 are foreign students. So uh, this is just to uh, give you a picture about uh, uh, an impression about the environment that you, when you can eventually meet uh, in our faculty, uh, which, by the way, is uh, is uh, uh, located in the building that you see uh, that you see on the slide. Um, about the education and study uh, study uh, programs uh, that we offer, well, they again correspond to the uh, to the uh, focus of the departments. So you'll find their study programs on all study levels uh, that are dealing with electrical engineering, ICT, um, and uh, more recent uh, um, recent branches areas like Industry 4.0, also bioinformatics, uh, and uh, and so on. Uh, the faculty is uh, developing all the time, and uh, this is only a picture that, that uh, should give you an impression about what environment you will meet there. This is our latest set of laboratories, the latest building that uh, we have uh, finished um, in 2020. 
uh, and it is a place dedicated for education and training of students. So if you come, uh, you have a pretty good chance that part of your classes, education or laboratories will take place in this in this building. And it's really spotless because um, because of the global pandemics, it uh, it hasn't been open yet to public. So it's waiting just just for you. Um, finally, uh, that brings me to uh, uh, one slide introduction uh, of the uh, Department of Cybernetics Biomedical Engineering, and you will get a very detailed presentation about it. Um, it's uh, one of the uh, eight departments that uh, focuses on um, on the area where ICT and electrical engineering basically overlaps. So if you want to be uh, a specialist, uh, professional um, in uh, this, in this well, broad uh, field, uh, this is the, the right place for you. And that brings me to the last presentation, uh, last slide of the presentation. Uh, you have also some uh, contact, uh, contact information here. And you can uh, you can contact us anytime uh, or uh, uh, anyone here at the university if you are interested in study here. Thank you, and uh, I'd like to ask Jakub to pass the uh, pass the word to uh, my colleague Dr. Prausek. Uh, okay, so good morning. Uh, I hope uh, you hear me well. So uh, can you please uh, type something in the chat if you hear me well? Okay, thank you. So uh, welcome to my part of the presentation. So my name is Michal Prausek and I would like to uh, provide some uh, deep insight, some brief deep insight to uh, study programs in the Department of Cybernetics and Biomedical Engineering. So uh, uh, my colleague Pavel uh, tell uh, something about the faculty. So I would like to detail the Department of Cybernetics and Biomedical Engineering. So we are focusing on the computer control systems, measurements uh, and information systems. So it includes all about the sensors, uh, data collections, transmission and the processing uh, and the usage of some artificial intelligence and the machine learning. Uh, in general, we are focusing on the industrial application on the one side and on the second side, we, we are focusing on the biomedical applications. From the study program point of view, we have the several uh, study programs in the bachelor, following master and the PhD study programs. And uh, the bachelor's programs is the three year study programs of the electrical engineering. So uh, nowadays uh, in our faculty, we have only one uh, study program in the bachelor's, uh, including the electrical, uh, electrical engineering knowledge. So this is uh, just one option to study the electrical engineering. There is no other options. And uh, then we have some uh, specialized uh, following master studies uh, focusing on the control and information systems. And also uh, the second is the biomedical engineering. Uh, the last uh, for my presentation will be the four, four years, the PhD study, including the knowledge of the cybernetics. So uh, let's look uh, deeper of the study outline. So first, the, the bachelor study, the, the electrical engineering, as I said, it's the basic course to start with the electrical engineering, which focusing on the control electronics, electrical machines, optical sensors, uh, through the data networks, uh, the measurement technology, and also the power electronics. 
Uh, in this case, the target profession is the power engineering design engineer, the measurement uh, technique, the, the software developer uh, for industrial electronics, and so on in the branches of the uh, computer networks and uh, electronics development. So this is the basic uh, start in our university and also it's a full in the English. And uh, the, the second are the master's study programs. So the first of the uh, study uh, master study programs is the control and information systems. So uh, this uh, course is specialized to uh, the measurement and uh, 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 LabVIEW programming, uh, uh, LabVIEW programming uh, uh, equipment and also focusing on the industrial automations and the embedded systems. So uh, this uh, including the, mainly the, the industrial applications like the PLC programming and the target professions aims on the industry. So the testing of electrical systems, specialists, industrial information system programmer and, and so on. So robotic systems and, and others industry uh professions so this is about the control and information system the following two-year study and also we have uh, the two-year study in the biomedical engineering so this is uh, the another application area and uh, the biomedical engineering is focusing on the diagnostic instruments and therapeutic instruments also the medical imaging systems biomedical sensors and processings and the clinical engineering so the target professions corresponds uh, with this outline like uh, clinical engineering, biomedical engineering, and uh, research and development engineer or the hardware or software developer for the medical devices. Okay, and the last one is the cybernetics, uh, which is the, the final, uh, final, uh, final study, FIRES uh, PhD study. And this is more advanced uh, 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 study outline, also in the branch in the information systems or, or the biomedical engineering. So you can choose your focus. And uh, its study online is the, in the advanced technologies, such as uh, advanced signal processing, uh, theory of the signals, uh, advanced uh, cybernetic methods or in uh, robotics, uh, fuzzy systems, and so on. And all target professions is, uh, are in the, in, the, in the research position. So researcher in the automation, measurement, embedded system robotics, and so on. So uh, that's uh, some uh, quick uh, brief uh, uh, introduction of the all uh, branch studies in our department. And uh, I hope uh, we will see personally in the, our subjectives in our study programs. And I hope uh, you can enjoy the study in the Czech Republic and our faculty and department. Thank you. in computer science and now I will ask uh, Mr. Zubicek, the representative of the Faculty of Mining and Geology to tell you something about the faculty. And this is the last presentation of our session. Okay, you can go on and it's okay. up to you. I hope, did you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. Uh, I will be shortly, uh, will be present the uh, faculty of the mining and the geology. Uh, I will be a uh, little introduced uh, shortly because my college has perfect presentation, the city of Ostrava and uh, Oregon campus. And uh, you can weave in the first slide, you can weave uh, all campus. And I say that I will be very briefly because my college very uh, perfect describe everything and the position of the Czech Republic and the life in the Czech Republic. 
and shortly uh, history and uh, profile of you know, faculty. Uh, we have a very long history on the history of start described in the 1716 as uh, the mining school of Yakimov. And there we are continually uh, teaching the uh, mining and the you know, geology subjects. Uh, and we are unicates uh, uh, only the faculty of the mining and uh, geology offer uh, the studies in the mining field. We are a strong connection between the research and applications. Uh, now, uh, the faculty in the numbers, it's in the date of you know, the uh, year on 2019, uh, it's uh, around uh, 1,400 students, uh, around 199 academic staff, so, and you can maybe interest uh, research income and industry income onto the faculties. Uh, the faculties of the structure of the faculties and the faculty have uh, six departments and uh, special four workplaces. It's uh, the Geological Pavilion, Planetarium of Ostrava, and uh, Institute of Clean Technology for the Mining and Utilization of Raw Materials for Energy Use. It's the science centers. Uh, and uh, fields of the education, uh, priority in the education is air sciences, uh, biology, ecology and environment, mining and processing of uh, mineral resources. And study programs and branches, uh, you can view uh, the red, it is possible in study in the English language, it's accredited in English, in English sorry, it's uh, geoinformatics, geological engineering, waste uh, management and mineral processing, mining of uh, mineral resources, brownfields, and uh, new, it's petroleum engineering. And uh, briefly about the uh, new study program, petroleum engineering is uh, offering as a bachelor and master degree. And it's uh, briefly, it's uh, shortly described in this uh, study program in the global. And it's important study subject of this uh, study uh, program for the bachelor degree, master degree, um, but unfortunately, it's not possible continually in this time uh, as PhD degree, but it is possible continually uh, study as PhD degree in geological engineering and we preparing uh, the uh, PhD degree in the petroleum engineering. It's a little in the detail uh, study program is uh, petroleum engineering in uh, bachelor degree what is important for uh, this uh, degree and then continually master degree. But it is uh, important, it's a contact person, it's uh, associate uh, Professor Anthony Kunz and associate uh, Professor Martin Klempa. Select its own study activities because it is not only important uh, only study and it is important to you know, study life uh, and uh, we are doing and some uh, student activities. For example, uh, our faculty provides the student scientific professional activities, uh, but uh, unfortunately last year we must call this uh, action because it is uh, in the first uh, year of our uh, first half of the year and it wasn't the pandemic situation it was not very bad and um, bad uh, and uh, now it's uh, preparing it's online uh, we participate with uh, other universities uh, AGH Krakow uh, from the Poland and the Politechnika Gliwice uh, Politechnika Śląska of Gliwice sorry uh, from Poland and uh, Technical University of uh, Košice from Slovakia. It is in the competition for the uh, students who uh, will be finished the master's and bachelor degree. 
Uh, traditional actions uh, we're visiting, it's an uh, international forum contest of the students and the young scientists uh, in the Russia, in the St. Petersburg. Uh, it's a traditional action for uh, our students and it is a possibility for the masters and PhD students. And it's very good competition, and it's very good competition for young uh, researchers and for uh, students. And uh, uh, our faculty provides uh, two uh, international conferences. Uh, one is uh, International Conference Advanced in Environmental Engineering and Tradition Conference uh, in Ostrava. Uh, both action it's uh, in this time it's as online actions and uh, priorities in science and the research. It's uh, mineral raw resources, mineral processing, mineral uh, effective mining of mineral resources. Uh, it's also remote sensing, uh, geoinformatics, and also others. It may be a little more present about the number of sort of research and development projects and uh, reviews from contacts research uh, per year. And uh, some list of you know, some new projects, uh, research and development projects uh, last year starting uh, the first horizon 2020 in our faculty. It's a very prestigious European project. It's a uh, focus for reuse of the mining waters and uh, you can weave uh, some others interest projects and uh, thank you for your attention you have the uh, links for uh, for everything uh, if you will be uh, connect with the, our university and thank you for your attention again and see you in the Ostrava thank you Mr. Zivicek for your words